In Acts chapter 1, verse 3, we read this. After his suffering, he showed himself to these men and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. As I read that, I wonder, why did Jesus decide to stay on earth for 40 days after he was resurrected from the dead, before he ascended into heaven? Why 40 days? And then also, why did the writer of Acts decide it was really important for us to know that he was on earth for 40 days? As I started thinking about this and diving into some study, I realized that this time period of 40 days is significant in other times in scripture. In Exodus chapter 24, Moses spends 40 days on the mountain in the presence of God before he's given the Ten Commandments to go and give to the people. In 1 Kings 19, Elijah spends 40 days and 40 nights traveling to the mountain where then he's enveloped in the presence of God and God speaks to him in a gentle whisper. And then in Luke chapter 4, we read that Jesus is in the wilderness for 40 days being tempted by the devil. In all of these instances, 40 days is a great time of preparation. I mean, Moses needed to be prepared to go and deliver the law to the people. Elijah needed to be prepared to go into his new season of ministry and shake off this tough stuff that he'd been going through. And then Jesus, although he was tempted by the enemy in the wilderness, the Spirit of God was with him. And it was a great time of preparation before his ministry just went and launched into the world. And so we read in Luke chapter 4, verse 14, Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit. See, I believe that these times of preparation are powerful for people to live into their purpose, and even Jesus. And so when we think then about the disciples getting to hang out with Jesus before he ascended into heaven for 40 days, that was a great time of preparation a great time for them to be ready to then live into the commands of God to be witnesses to the ends of the earth. You know, preparation isn't always easy. We don't really like times of preparation. We want to just jump into the next season. We want to pursue our dreams right now. We want to open the doors instead of waiting for them to open for us. And sometimes preparation can be hard. And I, I remember when I was feeling a call to ministry, I was just ready to dive in. I wanted to go for it. I wanted to open these doors. I wanted to just get started. But I remember in a time of prayer, God said, Carly, don't run the red light. And I'm like, what? Don't run the red light? What do you mean, God? But as I thought about it, I realized, I, I, and I started to picture myself sitting in my car at a red light and knowing that sometimes I can get antsy and I just want to go, but if you run the red light, you risk harming yourself, you risk harming other people, you risk getting distracted, getting a ticket. I mean, there's so many things that can happen that are detrimental if you run the red light, detrimental to you and to others. And so I realized that it is worth waiting for the light to turn green, waiting for God's timing, and then knowing that what he's doing as we're sitting at the red light is important for the next season. And so I don't know what you're waiting for right now. I know this season has been a lot of waiting for many of us as we've been in quarantine and wondering when the world will return back to normal. Maybe you're waiting to get married. Maybe you're waiting to be retired. Maybe you're waiting for your dream job door to open up. I don't know what you're waiting for, but I do know that our times of preparation are so significant in our journey. John Ortberg has this incredible quote that I have thought of over and over and over again. And it says this, what God does in us while we wait is just as important as what it is that we're waiting for. So whatever you're waiting for, know that God has great plans for you in the future, yes, but he has great intention for you in the now, in the present. So know that your preparation is a great part of living into your purpose. And so my friends, don't red the red light but be encouraged today.